Thank you for joining our quick demonstration today on using the Microsoft Azure Custom Form Recognizer Builder that is accessible right within uh, the Azure Management Studio. So if you go to your form recognizer .com, you'll see it brings open the form recognizer studios, which have some pre-built models. And at the bottom here, you will notice our custom extraction model. And this is where we'll go in and actually create our projects. In this short video, I will be creating a custom extraction model using the Azure AI Form Recognizer Studio. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a quick project here. So I'm going to hit Create Project. We're going to give it a name, Store Tech, one of our partners. Um, we're going to leverage a form recognizer that we already have here, which you can see. Uh, the Kisselaris forms. Um, you can create a new one if you need to, but really no need. Uh, hit continue here. And the key element that we're going to need to change is a storage account. Now, I've already created a StoreTech storage account. And the reason we want to do this is it doesn't intermingle with some of the other custom documents for other accounts and partners. And again, I've already created a blob storage here. So uh, if you haven't done that, you just hit create new storage account and put in the new uh, the the descriptive information that you'd like. In my case, I already created that. And again, hit the store tech, hit continue and create project where we'll now have a store tech project here and we'll need to now add some sample documents. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and select uh, and drag and drop some of these documents in here and we're going to hit run layout which is going to give us all the ocr zones that azure knows about uh, now i've already done this for one of the other models and uh, how you can go in and train it um, but in this case let's take a look here um, we can create fields on the fly so um, in this particular case uh, we can click the table icon here where we can set a particular table um so we'll hit auto label and we'll say this is create a new table and we'll call this uh see the order table so we'll call it order table and we're going to use a dynamic table uh, that allows for dynamic uh, rows that could be extracted across different pages a fix would be where there's always a defined set of rows and columns and you can see here, uh, it did extract that table. We hit finish, and now we have that table element on the right. Additional fields, we can now start to just click, and we're gonna say this is the ship number. Okay, hit the enter key, tell it's a field. Okay, uh, count number, count number, enter, it's a field. And uh, we wanna get this journey number. And that's a field. Uh, as you can see there, your three choices are field, selection, uh, a, or check box, and uh, signature selection. Uh, here we want to grab the uh, account name. Call this account name field. And this is the address. Address. And this is the I know it's not the state, but a city. And we'll call this the zip. OK, as you can see, um, anything in yellow means it can be captured. Otherwise, you can use a draw region, which is primarily for um, signature detection. So we'll say this is the invoice total. OK, and hit here, field. So typically, um, you'll notice on the top right, button, you need at least five documents to uh, validate the and train this particular model. Now, I've already done this on another model, so we can go back to one I've already created here for American Tower. We brought in a number of different documents here, as you can see, very unstructured. Um, like in this particular case, the customer wants to grab the parcel number and the site number from within a handwritten document. And then on the second page, there's actually, you know, some tabular information here. So we've gone through and I've, I've gone in and uh, assigned the fields uh, as necessary. I basically copy the same documents over. You do have to put in a 
a unique file name. So I just copy the same files and drag them all in and then hit my train button, which then creates and is starting to create a model here where you can see uh, American Tower. Uh, it's running. It's preparing that model. Uh, um, so in the setup screen here and in info input, uh, we have uh, the extraction profile, which we need to create. So I've created one here called American Tower. And all we're doing is giving the host URL to that particular form recognizer. Um, you can see here the recognition model is custom, which allows us to put in the custom model ID. So just going back to our model ID here, you can see American Tower 2, American Tower 1. So leveraging those models once they're built. So I'm actually going to change this to 2. You can authenticate. This will just authenticate that the host URL is valid. And then I'll create a quick job. Uh, so the quick job I've created here for American Tower is simply a intelligent OCR step. And so the first thing I do is select the Microsoft uh, extraction uh, form recognizer for American Tower, and then I need to map the fields. OK, so I created a quick document type, and that's those fields on the right here. And you can see I basically just uh, word for word uh, verbatim uh, put the exactly how it's spelled in Azure in the custom form and you'll notice all the tabular fields. I just need to tell it the table name dot the column name. Um, you can't use any type of spaces. So I went in. If we go back to our Azure custom model here, you're going to see uh, all the fields, address, city, state, and then our our tabular information. You can see here type of tax, millage, gross tax amount. So I just need to tell it uh, and make sure that they're spelled the same way. And you can see here the table name is tax type. Uh, so when we actually go to a uh, item here that actually has tabular information, you can see how it populates that information into those columns. That is how you create a custom model within Azure. And we'll come back and show you how we test that out. And as you can see here, now that we've created our training model, and you can see there from the drop down American Tower 1, we're able to add the documents, sample documents, run the analysis. And as you can see here, it was able to extract all the information with high confidence um, and also be able to figure out which document uh, required certain extraction or not. In this case, this is a one page document all handwritten that didn't have a tax type page two, so it didn't extract that information and created the Azure custom model and we've configured the solution. Let's go out and test it within our info input web client. So we're going to go and create a new batch. We're going to select the customer American tower. We're going to drag in some sample images here. So we're going to go and grab our demo docs. These will be imported. Now, because Azure training model knows the difference between each model and knows where to extract the relative data points. So when we process this document and we now go in, you can see that it's been processed here. We'll open up and you can see each of the documents. They're highlighted in red because there is a confidence indicator. In this case, uh, the state here where it grabbed, it wasn't sure. It was only 57%. Uh, it actually did a really good job with cursive handwriting. Uh, we go to the next one. You can see here it read both the address, city, state, zip, which from the old address. And then you can see how it read the uh, new address along with the name of the user. And as you can see here as well, uh, the ability to grab uh, city state zip as well as data within the body of the document, most notably the parcel and the site numbers. And then on the second page, the ability to not only grab name and uh, real estate property information, but also the tabular fields that you see here uh, 